Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live on SABC 2. Now time for our weekly book slot. She's been described as a young writer to watch. Uh, and in her new book titled Ching Chang Cherries, Jolyn Phillips takes us on a journey of a small coastal town of Hansbai in the Western Cape. This is through a short uh, collection of short stories that's giving us a, vo a voice to people that have uh, been forgotten in South African literature. Jolyn joins us now from our Sea Point Studios to tell us about her read Ching Chang Cherries. Jolyn, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for having me. I mean, this title, though. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, the, type, uh, the title um, is, is a little homage to an uncle of mine that I had. And he used to, the, 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 there was a story that he was working on an Asian ship. And growing up, he used to say, Ching Chang Cherries. Um, um, but I lost him when I was very young. And so I initially started the story to to remember him but then the um the 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 story became more than and is now a very odd character mm -hmm. why the decision to go the short stories route instead of a full uh blown novel uh, I think I try to make it a novel and I try to make it poetry, but um, it's going to sound crazy, but they wanted to be short stories and also they were 13 individual lives that I that needed to be their own people and the short stories accommodated that each of the short the, the lives could have their own moment. Let's talk about these people from Hansbai though. I mean, uh, <laughs> what, what makes them stand out and what makes them, you know, special? I, I think um, the language, the landscape, uh, the culture, the stories, the memories, all of these all of these elements are infused in in the short stories, but then the characters themselves each have a purpose in life or uh, a purpose to heal or, or to find who they really are or uh, uh, those things that are most important to them bring forth and deal with them. Um, and I think that is the, the resilient um, uh, p people, and I think that is what makes the characters interesting and and new. Mm -hmm. And what do you want your readers to take away from uh, Ching Chang Cherries? I would really like the readers to just get to know the characters and get to know who they are, and if perhaps they can. Uh, I certainly don't want it to be a fable, but they are interesting characters and I, I just really want them to enjoy what it sounds like on their tongues when they, when they are uh, reading, because it's also an experience lingually. Um, you get the idea of what, we, uh, what people sound like uh, in Hans by when you are reading the book. Yeah. What do people in Hans by sound like? Give us a sentence of some sort. I don't know. Say the weather's great in... Cape Town, I don't know. Die weer is goed vandag, oos brei en gaans by. So you don't pronounce the R, it's a sound there going on. Like the Susutu people, South Susutu people. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. definitely. Somewhere I read that it, and in my intro, it says that, you know, um, you are one of the writers to watch, young writers to watch. What's your response to something like that? And I imagine it's an amazing compliment. It is an amazing compliment, but it also puts things in perspective for you because, you know, in, in performing arts, you're only as good as your previous, uh, as your last performance. And so it certainly inspires me to, to do better, but it's also an immense uh, pressure. But I... I hope that I, I get the honor of writing another book again because I do feel that you are called to write. Mm -hmm. um, and if I do get it again, I'd be very honored yeah. to do so. How much of Jolyn is in this read? Uh, I think I'm from Khansbae. Um I was raised by everyone there. And so obviously everything that I am, that I've been put together, I'm put to get together by the people from Hans, but everyone has raised me. So uh, if you, if it's Hans, by then it's also me. 
All right. Uh, Jolyn Phillips, thank you so much for spending the morning with us. She's a PhD student and a Western Cape based author and was talking to us about her debut novel, uh, Ching Chang Cherries. There, it's on your screen there. And it's a, a list of short stories. All right. Before we go to the ad break, DJ Black Coffee has beaten a compatriot's Casper.